Hi, welcome to Core Hamster. Today I'll be viewing this INTY OPD2 car diagnostic scanner, and the model for this is NY-01123. Now I'll pay about $35 for this off Amazon, and this one is more of a very straightforward scanner. It doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles as the other ones. It came with this user manual, and it covers a number of languages and goes over the basic functions of it. And the cable itself it's about three and a half feet in length. You don't need any batteries or anything. Everything's powered directly off the vehicle. There's a little micro USB port on the bottom. It did not come with a micro USB cable, but if it ever needs an update, I'm sure they'll post it on their website. Now, for my vehicle, this is a 2009 Honda Accord. So my OBD2 port is located right over here. My vehicle started. I'm going to plug in the scanner. Now it's booting up. Let's press the button here. So the LCD screen, it's very basic. It's more of a, just a grayscale. But it is still easy to read in daytime and night. I just need to angle it, like tilt it a little bit this way to see it properly. So I'm going to do a recode right now. There's, I don't have any issues, so there are no pending codes. There's no... I don't have any stored codes either. No codes stored here. And I'm, just, I'm navigating their menu system using just these four buttons. Enter, up, down, and exit. I don't have any race codes to erase. I don't have the check engine light. But if I did, let's say I had check engine light, I can make the repairs in my vehicle and use this to... Re get rid of that check engine light. But of course, after getting rid of the check engine light, I'll still need to drive the vehicle around for like almost 100 miles, just so that the computer can build up history before I can bring it back to the DMV. I can read live data. So this is handy for any sort of tuning. And the options here. Hit back here. I have freeze frame, so there is something I need to capture. And of course, just there's the I am readiness. So this is important for my state, New Jersey. And, uh, since, and the reason this is important is because my state, they don't actually measure the exhaust from the pipes anymore. They use this. So this would let me, allow me to understand whether or not my vehicle will pass the emission test. And go to this drive cycle. And then there's the vehicle information. So. With this, once I read the codes, I can take the codes and search on the websites, the manufacturer's website or other forums, and find out what's wrong, what that code represents, and what's wrong with my vehicle, and just address the part. Now, this costs about $35. If I were to replace one part by myself, that makes this well worth it, because if I were to take it to a mechanic, I could easily spend more than $100. Some more common themes for vehicles, that's like, mine at this age is the O2 sensor and that costs about $100 or so to replace at AutoZone. I can always re bring back the old part to get a little refund there but to find out which O2 sensor or which sensor is wrong use this. This scanner is very easy to use, very straightforward there's no bells and whistles it just gets the job done so yes I would recommend it for just $35 well, thanks for watching this review. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Uncle Hamster. Bye.